Well, here's a little video that's going to walk through the process of printing our on an Epson 3880. Um, we'll go over matte and luster. We're actually using Moab, LaSalle luster, and LaSalle matte paper. Um, and this is specific to our printers in the lab here at Utah Valley University, but would be specific to any Epson printer. And we're going to walk through the process of setting up and using, or actually using a, a print profile uh, for this particular print. Uh, a couple things I want to point out first is the UVU Art Lab blog. Uh, here we actually have a PDF tutorial that walks through the same thing. If you go to the tutorials section right here, should be the first one. Uh, GT 538s our room, our print lab, and the Epson 3880 print guide. So if you click on that, it's going to bring up a link that looks like this, and it will walk through this file. So the first part just basically covers preparing your image, uh, making sure you have it the right size, and hopefully you've learned this and understand resolution here. But typically you want it to be 300 dpi. Uh, we're using an RGB mode. Uh, if you assign a profile, if you want to get that level of color, um, our profiles are built on the Adobe 1998. So if that matters to you, you can add that in. We won't cover that in this video. But right here you're looking at uh, just the setup of, of the resolution. 300 dpi is preferred. Uh, but 240 or higher is usually acceptable print quality. So the first part of this is just talks about preparing your image. It's always best to flatten it. Um, like I said, in our labs and our profiles, RGB is the preferred color format or color mode. Uh, and then the second part or these next pages will cover walking through actually how to print. And then this one's specific to Matt. If you go down, there's the same tutorial. Uh, or the same PDF walkthrough later on, uh, starting with preparing your image, and then the luster settings. And so they are very similar, just slightly different with the profiles. So we'll cover those, and I'll, I'll show you matte. We'll demo on this print in matte, but then we'll also point out what you would set for a luster setting. So that's a good reference. Um, these are basically the same things we're going to cover in the video. Uh, this PDF tutorial was mo made in an older version of Photoshop, so this one will be specific to Photoshop CC 2015, as you can see there. So I've got this image right here. I'm going to get ready to print this. So I'm just going to go in and go to File and Print. Uh, I've already checked my size, but I should point that out first. So image size, I've got mine actually higher, but that could be 300. Uh, is where we're looking for that but and your physical size so with resolution it's okay to shrink it uh, you do not want to scale it up so that's the typical rule of thumb so for this image we've gone through set the resolution we're gonna go to file and print um, the first thing you can look at right here is that we need to change the orientation so we're going to change it from layout to landscape now if you're doing a test print I usually come down in here uh, down scrolling down in the Photoshop box to the size and you can scale this so if we wanted to scale this usually it's uh, the largest sizes two for our test prints uh, and I typically do that in portrait mode because it's easier to find it where it lies in the sheet so that's how you would set it up um, sizing if you were doing a test print. We're going to assume that you've already done a test print and show you how to do it a full size. Okay. So what I did there is scale to fit, which makes it the largest size possible here on your um, file for a landscape orientation. So if I do portrait, it's obviously going to be smaller scaling than the landscape. So that's the scaling. Once again, you have to scroll in Photoshop's print dialog box to get that. So the first thing we want to look at here in the print dialog box is Photoshop manages color. Okay, That's what you want to change this to. Um, and typically, before we get into too much, we'll come back and change these. I like to go in the print settings box because it can actually modify 
some of these settings if you do it after. So we're going to go to the print settings box and this is specific to the printer's driver. So this is using the operating system here. So on this spot, now yours may view, may op have an option to view less or view more. Uh, so if you have an option to view more, you may not see some of these settings. So in here we're going to pick the size. Obviously you want it to be US letter uh, and there's a difference for this one. That's how we set it for our sheets. Okay. Uh, if you had a different printer, you may end up using some of these different options. But for this particular one, you want US letter and then this one of the option. Okay. Uh, some of the other sizes we have, we do have a 13 by 19 sheet, and that would be a Super A3. Uh, if you're not sure, you can move your cursor over it to get a, an example there. So once you've got that up, you can switch that and go into your printer settings. And this for matte is where it should be, matte paper, ultra premium presentation matte paper. High speed should be unchecked, so make sure that's turned off. And super photo 1440 is the typical one we use here. These should be grayed out due to the fact that we picked Photoshop manages the color before. So once we hit save, you'll be set there. And then we can come down and pick this profile, which is the Epson Pro 3880 Ultra Smooth Fine Art Paper. So those are the settings. At that point, we would just hit print. Uh, if we were doing luster, we would pick and this one right here, Premium Luster Photo Paper. And we would also have to change under the printer settings, so we're going to pick layout and go to the printer settings. Change this to photo paper, ultra premium luster photo paper. So those are the settings for luster and then ultra premium presentation for matte. So since it's matte, we're going to leave it there. Make sure that this is ultra smooth fine art there. And then we would just go ahead and hit print. And that is printing on the 3880.